Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, it was it was so funny last night's episode, but also so cringy. Someone who's been there, seen it, done it, is friend of the show, Coyote, and he's on the show with us again. Morning, mate. Mate, morning, John. Mate, I like the mate now. How you doing, mate? <laughs> well, we're old friends now, aren't we, to be honest? We are old friends. <laughs> How are things with you? Um, we're all enjoying it, but I can't. But I just every week I've got my head in my hands. How do you find it? Yeah, I love it, man. It's just it literally Thursday night. It's been a routine now. What are we five weeks in, and it's literally a routine. Just watching the show, and I also love to watch the Your Fight show afterwards. And yes, yeah, it's been great. It's been great. So you watch it differently to us, I imagine, because you've been on it. What are you looking for that maybe we don't see? To be honest, my head's mostly down tweeting. I'm tweeting every second of it, to be honest. <laughs> I, I'm multitasking between tweeting and watching, so I'm listening more than watching, but I'm mostly looking for the ideas and how people are coming, how they are, just their, just how they're doing in terms of, also how they're doing mentally as well. Are they struggling? How are they getting on? I know it's not an easy process. We watched it last night and we're like, I, I was saying, oh, please, please let it stay as Arctic. This is going to be hilarious if they let it stay as Arctic. <laughs> They've not spelt it right. And they did. Why can't they just go back and, and change it? Because they kind of lock it in. I thought the same the week before. Yeah. You know when he forgets to sell the catch of the day, the crabs, the week before? I was yeah. just like, well, in a real in real life, you just go back in and say, oh, by the way, forgot to say, chef. I've just heard I've got a load of I've got a load of really fresh crab to crab, brown crab to sell. You know, they, do they let you not let you do those kind of corrections? Yeah, no, you can't do that. Yeah, you're right. It's lo- the term, like you said, it's locked in. If you want to call it that, quote unquote. So, it, again, that's what makes it extra hard. The process. It's like once it's done, it's done. Like literally, once it inks on a page and it dries, you can't change it, kind of thing. So, Arctic. But I think it was a big. I think a lot of people in the UK had an oh yeah moment because how many people really, really thought? No, especially with the penguin bit. Sorry, you know when they said there's no yeah. penguins in the Arctic. It's like, I think, you know, it's little things like that. It's like, you know, how many people really knew that in advance, like, you know, criticising Francesca for it and her team? But it's one of those ones, it's like, it's difficult. It is difficult. What I also was thinking last night is that they, they're pretty friendly in the house. When you see people go back and they're all enjoying a glass of Prosecco or whatever, and they, they seem like they're all friends. But in the boardroom, it can get really nasty. What's it like when you have to turn on someone, essentially, you really get on with, you know, back in the house? Yeah, so the hard thing for me is that my roommate, I think a lot of people in the house in my year had a room of, like, three or four, or, or I mean, I know the girls especially, but in my room, it's literally just me and Tom. Yeah. So, like, when we had it out in the boardroom, and then we went back to the bedroom, <laughs> it's just me and Tom again. So it's like, it is kind of maybe awkward in that sense. So it's not... It's not easy. It's like if you if you have an argument with with Lee or whoever you're working with in BBC Radio Stoke, you don't see them at home. You just see them the next morning, right? So it is it is difficult in that sense. Yeah, although I do live with Lee too. I know, nights I know a week. you guys don't yeah. argue at Radio Stoke, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, have you got Have you got your eye on anyone who you think is is a is good? Because I just keep seeing yeah, the Aaron. disasters. Yeah, Aaron's been growing on me week on week. Like at the beginning, I wasn't sure, but Aaron's been growing on me. I like to look of um, Stephanie as well. Like she hasn't really been as much as loud as the other candidates, but I think it's ones like Stephanie you've got to look out for as well. You know, the the silent but violent ones like creeping up. And that sounds like a fart, but you know, the <laughs> silent but violent ones creeping up slowly throughout the show. Yeah, it at first. Look for the silent but violent ones in this series of The Apprentice. Coyote, always yeah. a pleasure to talk to you, mate. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, John. Cheers. Cheers, Coyote. John Akers at Breakfast, BBC Radio Stoke. Good morning. We've had some snow falling, Sarah. Mm, yes. 